the fluoridation of water, which uh, chemically lobotomizes the people, the chlorination of water, which creates atherosclerosis, because by the chlorination of the water, and chlorine and fluorine, by the way, were surplus waste products of the big corporations, which they were spending a lot of money to get rid of. The chlorine was left over from World War I, uh, and they had no use for it whatsoever. So they put it in the water, and they said, we're making your water safe to drink. Well, the chlorine also reacts with the fats in your diet to deposit fatty deposits through your arteries, which causes strokes and heart attacks. And uh, the heart, after the chlorination of public water supplies, the heart attack uh, ratio mounted astronomically in this country, and it's continued high every year. So they tell you to jog, and they tell you not to eat any butter and so forth. But as long as you're drinking that chlorinated water, you're going to get a heart attack. Uh, if you never touch butter again in your life, you're still going to get it. So, And the fluoridation, of course, uh, works on your kidneys and uh, your liver. It's a very toxic poison, which was a waste product of the Aluminum Corporation of America. A man named Oscar Ewing in Washington, as head of the Federal Security Agency, which also controlled the U.S. Public Health Service, and they gave Oscar Ewing a $750,000 cash bribe to put fluoridation in through the U.S. Public Health Service. This is a matter of congressional record. I have the actual page from the congressional record. It was put in there by Congressman Adolph Miller of Nebraska. So Oscar Ewing had the U.S. Public Health Service um, lobby for adoption of fluoridation of the water supply of every major city in the United States. One of the first cities to be uh, fluoridated was Washington, D.C. itself. And immediately all the congressmen installed big water tanks in their water bottles in their offices of pure mountain water. And one senator even went to a restaurant and carried his own flask of water. He said, I wouldn't kill myself by drinking any of that stuff. So these are the people that we elect to represent our interests. And the medical monopoly today is really, I call it murder by injection because they are poisoning the people in the United States. They are producing a more and more submissive population which is drugged, which is ill, which does not have the strength or the energy to fight back against the encroachments of our aggressive bureaucrats. This is the situation that we're in today. So that's where we are today.